Alright, and hey there Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Wind Waker HD Let's Play. So, if you guys missed out during the last episode, we are now done and finished with everything that has to be uh, done uh, with the Earth Temple. Uh, we went and bowed out with Jahala, and we got ourselves our Harketeer and all that other stuff, and I believe we also did go and return back to the uh, Windfall Island, and also headed on over back to where Forest Haven was, so that we could go and speak on over to where Makara was at. And uh, during that time, we actually had to go and pick up our song uh, for Makara. Now, off recording, I already went and got ourselves my car, and we're kind of already traveling on over to our destination right now, back over to where the Wind Temple is going to be. And uh, not only that, but also to off recording, I uh, just want to kind of let you guys know that uh, back over at the auction house, uh, if you guys could go and probably tell from how much cash that I kind of already want to spend out, I did not get myself the Swiss deal, unfortunately, but I did, however get myself the piece of heart that was actually over at the auction house so that was kind of a lucky type of snag that i actually got from there uh that piece of heart is actually a little bit difficult and uh, much harder to actually try and grab uh rather than trying to get the swift sale so i was actually kind of happy that i came across with that one instead of actually uh, getting the swift sale uh but yeah unfortunately we kind of have to come back to the auction house uh pretty much another time then and we'll try and add some more cash uh, to well back to our wallet which then that'll kind of help us out a little bit more now I do see Mattfish kind of jumping around out here so we should probably go and uh, maybe speak on over to him first and I'll try and get as well too with the uh, with the bait and everything already here so then we can kind of add this uh, to our map because we also want to try and at least try to 100% complete our map as well because we are going to try and uh, literally grab out on uh, all right here we go let's just throw that down give that over to good old Matt fish all right he's gonna eat that all up and we will get ourselves all check marked everything for this place all right so yada 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 I know you're just gonna mark everything up for me all right and there we go and with that being said in mind wind temple is finally here so there we go and uh, within here in the uh, Wind Temple, there is going to be a lot of like spring-loaded type of uh, jumps that we kind of have to do with the Iron Boots. So it's kind of a necessary type of item to actually go and kind of pick up here. And even though we also did go and uh, literally use our Iron Boots from before, that was how we were able to go and literally uh, open up uh, within, uh, within that entrance to literally get ourselves the, the song for it. Now, it seems like we could also kind of use the Hoyoi pair as well and kind of grab out with some of those extra type of items that are kind of flowing around within the Wind Temple, but I'm not going to really go and worry about it. But uh, I think also, too, uh, a little bit of a while ago, uh, I did see something uh, that kind of popped up like on my uh, on my Google feed, and apparently something like on, on, on like uh, something for like video game related type of news thing is that uh, apparently... Uh, I guess Wind Waker, uh, someone like modded out like all the different like text dialogue and there's like over like a thousand or, or, or even a little bit more than like a thousand but there's like so much different text dialogue that it like literally creates like a whole like brand new type of game which it looks so cool that I, that, that, that I don't know if I may uh, probably ever uh, try this out so let's go and check it out so it appears that Mark is indicated with specific directions so let's go ahead and do that and I wonder if I can uh, just go and play it right from here. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Kind of screwed that up. Because it has to be this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and that way. There we go. Now I got it. <laughs> yeah, this one I always have a little bit of a hard time with. Because, like, there's so many, like, other different, like, type of directions to go for that one. Like, the Earth God lyric is actually not that too entirely bad, though. Because I can kind of understand on how that one works. But there we go. And with the power of Makar, we can finally now bust down this wall. And now we can actually get, finally now, with the temple, finally getting started out here for a little bit. So welcome to Wind Temple, everyone. And uh, again, we have to go and fall into another big, huge type of hole. Uh, and uh, this is going to get a little bit type of scary, but we should be fine. We've done this plenty of times. We've fallen into grottos and other things, so this shouldn't be too bad. All right. Now let's go and pick up my car and let's start finding out exactly what we need to do here. I'm pretty sure we're going to get introduced to our very first spring-loaded type of uh, jump that's going to happen. So now I'm pretty sure we can't really go and use my car. I don't think for this part right now, I don't think. Or could we? Oh yes, we do have to use my car. Okay, so let's just go and use the command melody. Oh no, hold on. Oh. Alright, there we go. Ah, perfect. We got the command melody worked. 
Yeah, because I, because if I recall, we have to use uh, Makar down below, and I think he'll give us ourselves a uh, free chest that we can kind of see what we can do here. Now watch out for the Wiz robes as well, because they are going to be a factor that is going to be here, and it will do some damage. Yeah. All right. Just have to be a little bit careful with these guys. No. Ah, oh, there we go. Got the Wiz robe. Oh, already taken care of. Thank goodness. Yeah, I was not expecting that the wizard world was going to literally start showing up right now. But yeah, so even if we go in to repeatedly tap on A, we'll get ourselves into that little uh, helicopter uh, little ride there with Makar. And uh, let's go and also throw this on down as well too. And I kind of like uh, the, the derpy little trees uh, that that, uh, that Makar kind of makes because it's kind of hilarious. Because it looks like a little bit of a happy face. Alright, so now with that being said in mind, we can go and open up with this chest, and I think, what's it going to give us here? Give ourselves an orange rupee, a hundred rupees, so that's kind of mixed back a little bit of some of the piece of heart grabbing that I've been doing out here. Oh, and not only that, but we got ourselves a stealth post out here. Oh, just be careful. Yeah, these guys like to do a lot of damage. But, if I can... Oh, well, there you go, at least we went and break on down with the, uh, with the potted plant that was here. Hey, hey, come here, dude. Nope, I'm not finished with you yet, dude. Hey, what the heck? Just get this guy out of here. Ah, there we go. And the stealth was is done. Very nice. And also, too, can't forget about this, but let's go and grab some extra arrows and some extra hearts and everything, so we're all good. Okay, so now we got ourselves a chest. We now got ourselves uh, with also as well, too, uh, with getting ourselves our very first of the many of cauldrons that are going to be here as well. So not bad at all. Now we just need to go and just really use this to our advantage here and make sure that you actually kind of go and uh, use your, uh, no, ah, oh, screwed that one up. Yeah, you kind of have to use your uh, your deck of leaf as well too in the process for this. And then do it like that. There we go, perfect. All right, now I think for Makar though, however, I think Makar has to go and stop on the switch for us, I think. I want to say so. Because I don't know if that's supposed to work or not. But if you try to literally, uh, let's see, can we get around here, though? There we go. Perfect. And I want to say, Makar should be able to hopefully step on the switch for us. Yep. And just like that, since Makar stepped on the switch for us, now we can just press the ZR to get back. And now, we should just be able to just go and do the same exact thing that we did from before on the bottom side and just pick it on over and do it like this nice and that's literally what's going to be happening throughout here we just have to be doing a lot of spring type of jumps and whatnot to get to one place to the end and that's literally about it but there we go got ourselves some extra magic back which that's always good and now with that switch being uh already done we don't have to worry about never having to worry about that annoying wind turbine anymore but now we kind of have to go and literally use our uh our thing with our Deculi for the time being. Now, I think these armoses will come to life, so be careful. Alright, and just have to watch out for these guys. And there we go. Oh, what? Hey, that was cool. Hey! Now, these guys can be a little bit of a challenge, but if I can jump from the side here. There we go. Got them. So both armoses are done. And we'll just kind of let them get destroyed out here. Okay, let's go and bring out Makar, and we'll kind of have to, he has to kind of join up alongside with us for a little bit. Okay, now I think if I put Makar, like, right around here, and if I go and use, nope, not this, but go and do like that, there we go. Now we got that whole area all uh, open to us, and now... I think if we go and stomp back onto this switch, it should literally close that section. But not to worry, we won't get ourselves completely stuck. But there we go. Let's see if we can do something with my car here. It seems like we're now going to finally open up a door as well, too, in the process. So let the car do his thing. Hop all the way up there, my car. Good job. Alright. Let's put another derpy tree here. I just have to just do this one more at a time. Now, at some point when we get ourselves the hook shot, these derpy trees are going to become a little bit more useful to us. It's just that for right now, is there's just kind of just kind of just chilling here for a little bit until something happens. And I think that's about it. I think that's all that we can do because I don't think 
we can really only do too much about that. I thought there was like a, I think this could be another room at some point. Uh, cause I think we may probably have to get up to like the next floor. Cause I'm pretty certain that wall is going to like, uh, basically, um, get flipped upside down at some point. Okay. Now this is something that we do need to go and, uh, really worry about at this point here. And that is using the, uh, is using Makara for this part. Now, I don't think I could do anything about this here at the moment. But, however, let's just go ahead and uh, place a few of these guys here just for the time being. And then we'll just get the next one over as well too. And then we'll just come right back to this a little bit later. Alright, nope, nope, nope. Here you go. Let's plop that in there. And this is how we're going to be able to go and use our hook shot, is that we can be able to just go and climb all the way back up into this spot at some point when we do get ourselves uh, with opening up both these doors at the time being for this. Alright, so there we go. So that takes care of both of those two doors. But, however, Makara is going to get stolen from here, and that is how we need to go and try and rescue it, uh, uh, with Makara at some point. But yeah, that's supposed to be the part of the storyline that's supposed to happen at some point because uh, we have to go and rescue Makara from some sort of jail cell or something that's going on. Now we got a whole bunch of these P hats and everything that's going on, so we kind of have to... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do it like this. Alright, there we go. Take care of you, no problem. Let's get out of our iron boots. And let's get the other P hat. Oh, Frost, I'm over here! Oh, there's Makara. Oh, well, he didn't really seem like he'd gone far away all that too quick. But, yeah, we can't really go and pull that across just yet. So we have to get through the other room. All right. No! Why do I keep on doing that? I always keep on thinking that the iron boots are like a part of the, uh... Or, or I keep on thinking that the Deku Leaf is like a part of the X button. But it's not. Give me those, give me those hearts, man. All right. Now watch out for these guys, because they're going to start getting activated. Okay, so now we're on to this part. Yeah, now I recall where we're going now. Because this is where I think uh, this other little spot right here is going to try and uh, flip upside down. And we can be able to kind of go on across here. Okay, so there's no orbs. So we do have to go and fall down through this way. And this is where we're going to basically be meeting up with one of these guys. Woo! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I hate how... Hey, how these floor masters are gonna like literally try and grab me, but that's not gonna happen, dude. No. All right, there we go. Get some extra arrows, though. So if we go and flip this guy around. We got ourselves another one of these wall, uh, one of these other floor masters. So just be careful with these guys. You do not want to be messing around with those because they will take you right back to the to this whole entire section all over again. All right, now. We are completely stuck here at the moment, but not to worry, because we can flip this guy up and around. Ouch. <laughs> well, that completely squished me. <laughs> so it wasn't the floor master, but it was also the annoying wall as well, too. Oh, no. Please don't tell me that I have to restart this all over again. Okay, well, it's a good thing that the floor masters aren't there at this moment. Phew. All right. So let's get back over to this way. And let's not, let's not go and try and get ourselves completely crushed, because that was just annoying. Alright, there we go. And, no! Ah. Hold on. I have to do that again. Alright. And there we go. Perfect. Head right on over here, grab ourselves an extra chest. Yay, another joy pendant. And we still have to go back to Dragon Roost Island, because that's still a thing that I still need to do. Alright, so now I made it back over here, and I'm pretty certain we still need to do something here with Makar at the moment. But we'll come back to this later, but at least we'll know that that, that we got ourselves the other continuation door that's here. There we go. P-Hat is gone. Let's knock out this P-Hat as well, too, in the process. Alright, no more with those guys. 14 minutes. Alright, and we're still doing pretty good so far within this area. Now, I'm pretty certain I think there is going to be a... Uh, I think there is going to be a whiz row somewhere around out here, because I know it's going to happen. Because normally this would be a perfect spot out here where there will be a, uh, a whiz row to kind of do some annoying type of stuff that's going to be around. Alright, there we go. Yep, I thought so. There was going to be a whiz row. Alright. No. Alright, let's just make sure that we go and uh, do some damage on this guy. 
There we go. So that does one hit right there. Now he should be popping around up here. Oh god, like that. <laughs> Whoa. Didn't know that he was gonna like show up right up next to me though. That was a little bit scary. Now I think to do this, I think we just need to just get around here. Oh, and I do see that there is a chest. Let's go and grab this one first. I think this could probably get ourselves with the dungeon map. This does feel like a, like a dungeon map type of situation or maybe a compass or something. Let's see what we can grab. And with this chest being a little bit different, it's going to be... It's going to be a dungeon map. Nice. Okay, so that's perfect. Now we can just go and uh, use our magic all the way back. Now this section is going to be a little bit scary because I know that we're going to probably start running out of magic soon and just like that that's what's going to happen now we got these annoying guys now they will actually start to respawn back but we can't be able to re-grab out on magic and all that other stuff that's going to be around here now I don't think we'll be able to go and literally uh, climb all the way back up to here because even if we want to uh, it's not going to really happen just yet so we need to find a ladder. Yeah, so these guys are going to literally start respawning. But at least we got some extra magic and everything's good. Um, oh no. Please don't tell me that I'm stuck. Because there should at least be a ladder somewhere around here that I can be able to... Oh, or well, I should say vines. Not a ladder, but some vines though. There we go. Yeah, we're not totally stuck. So we're all good. So this should literally take us right back to where we last were. So we'll just have to just kind of do something like this. We John over this way. Now, if I went and bowed out with one of those other Octoroks and had like the, uh, the the double magic, that would have been really helpful for this area. But we just kind of have to be a little bit careful when it comes to around here. Now, hopefully I can be able to kind of reach on over to this spot before my magic wears out. No! Ah. Uh. That is annoying, dude. That is absolutely annoying. Ah. So do I have to grab out the double magic? Because I think that may probably be a thing that I may probably have to actually go out and grab at this point. Because if I don't get the double magic, I'm pretty certain I'm going to probably be screwed on trying to fly over to that other section there. Oh, come on, man. There has to be at least some sort of magic that you guys can give me. Okay, there has to be magic down here, then. What? Nothing? Erg. Well, there we go. That's at least some bit of magic. But I think we're kind of running low for time, though. So I'm going to kind of end off this episode a little bit faster than normal. So uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, or subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And uh, hopefully I'll try and maybe come back out of this place. And uh, we'll try and search for uh, one of the big octos that can give us the two-time magic. Because I think this would... Uh, be, I think eternally grateful uh, for us to uh, literally uh, make everything a little bit nicer and faster for us so I'll uh, be seeing you guys uh, hopefully when I actually do go and pick that up uh, within the next episode and peace